I mean, that's debatable. It depends on the time period of my life, too. Like, when I was young, I loved Hulk Hogan. Uh, when I got a little older, I liked more, like, Roddy Piper, Macho Man. And then when we got into the New Generation era, now you're talking, like, Shawn Michaels, Razor Ramon. And then when you get even older than that, and then you're talking Austin. And then after that, you're talking maybe, like, Chris Jericho. <clears throat> and then after you're talking later than that, now you're talking CM Punk. But, you know, it's just, it, it, it's by era. So, okay. Um, hold on. Snow Carl took the dollar. Your hair looks good. Have you considered switching up your haircut or facial hair? I get bored if I had the same style for so many years. I think you look great without slicking your hair back. Um, here's the thing. When you say you look good without slicking your hair back, you're right. I, if you haven't noticed, when I wash my hair, it gets some volume in it. And then when I come on stream and it's all puffy, people are like, oh, it looks kind of cool. It's different, right? Sometimes they make fun of it. They say, oh, the Superman curls or whatever. The problem is I don't know how I would do that every day. <clears throat> like, you need to wash your hair. I would have to wash my hair before every stream to get it to look like that. Because my hair is Italian. I know that's weird because I don't look very Italian. But I have Italian hair, which means it's very greasy. So after, like, you know, a few hours, my hair stops being so puffy and volumetric and gets greasy and yucky. Um... So I don't even know how I would get it to be puffy before a stream besides wash my hair every stream, which I really don't want to do, you know. But, I, you know, if you haven't noticed on late streams, after I shower, I leave my hair puffy. I don't wet it, wet it down. Um, and that's why it looks different a little bit. Outside of that, I don't even know how else I would do my hair, you know. I don't, I don't even know. I have to think about it. But like I said, I, I don't put any product in my hair. What you see right now is the natural oils of my hair. All I use, I take a brush, and I either brush it, or if it's sticking up a little bit, like cowlick, I'll wet it, and I'll do like that. That's it. This is my natural, you know, gr Italian greasy hair. That's what I have. Yeah, because it's funny, because some people are like, dude, what do you use to keep your hair down? Like, literally nothing. What? Yeah, literally nothing. That's just how my hairstyle is. Okay. <laughs> Snow crawled in another tip. Oh, well, let's see here. It says, I remember when Kat initially moved in up until maybe a year ago, you guys were being experimental with food. It seems like you mostly do the same stuff now. How come and what have you been cooking recently? Um, well, here's the thing. When Kat first moved here in 2018, we wanted to try all kinds of different cuisines, and we have. Like, we've tried things we never have. Indian food, Vietnamese cuisine, uh, Hawaiian food, various different types of barbecue. Um... You know, I can keep going on Mediterranean. Like, we tried everything. But the thing is, you get to a point where you've basically done everything, right? Like, we have, like, everything around here we've pretty much tried to this point. And we kind of have our favorites now. And those are the ones that we try to alternate between. Um, as for meals cooked at home, again, you know, it depends on various factors. You know, as Kat has had different jobs and different work schedules, if she's home certain days, she can cook certain things. Other days, she can't. Right? Like, today, she's going to make a Mexican bake. Which is ground seasoned ground turkey, uh, refried beans, uh, enchilada sauce, tortillas, chunks of tomato and salsa, um, uh, olives, rice, like all these different ingredients. And what it is, you bake it in a, in a baking pan in the oven, and you cut it up, and you can eat it like squares, almost like lasagna, but it's like Mexican lasagna almost. But it's really good. And the reason is, it's, it's easy to make. It's complex, so it has a lot of good flavors, but it's very easy to make. So because of that, it's a good, it's a popular thing we like to do every once in a while. Usually, you know, a couple times a month sometimes. 